No, what was it? A bald eagle just flew overhead. Whoa, 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 did you just see that? No. A black bear just ran by. Man. Whoa, did you just see that? Yes, I saw that. Then, then why did you step in it? What? Oh. Friday. The week is done and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Friday. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. WFYI Indianapolis and these Indiana Public Television stations. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Luke. And I'm Maddie. We're on the hunt today, Luke. Yep. The Green County 4-H Shooting Sports Club will be stopping by, and we'll take a field trip to the Hoosier Outdoor Experience. Plus, lots more. But first, a song on the Friday Zone playlist. Ooh, I got guitar I this got time. The More moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, digging holes, more moles, more moles. Thought I had a couple moles, thought I had a couple moles, in my yard, digging holes, in my yard, digging holes. One day when I went outside, one day when I went outside, I could not believe my eyes, I could not believe my eyes. One hundred piles of dirty dirt, one hundred piles of dirty dirt, I was now on high alert, I was now on high alert. Under me, one hundred crawl. Under me, one hundred crawl. I would have to catch them all. I would have to catch them all. More moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, digging holes, more moles. More moles. Set about a hundred traps. Set about a hundred traps. Tasty treats, springy flaps. Tasty treats. Springy flaps Left them out in the early light Left them out in the early light Waited all day, waited all night Waited all day, waited all night Snap, 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 the traps did close Snap, 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 the traps did close One hundred snaps, one hundred moles One hundred snaps, one hundred moles They look sad, they look blue They look sad, they look blue What in the world should I do? What in the world should I do? More moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, digging holes, more moles, more moles. Loaded up a flatbed truck, loaded up a flatbed truck, told the moles they were in luck, told the moles they were in luck, took them to a shady spot, took them to a shady spot, out in the country warm and hot. Out in the country, warm and hot. Let them free to dig away. Let them free to dig away. Free to dig, free to play. Free to dig, free to play. They have no phone, so I can't call. They have no phone, so I can't call. Sometimes I go visit them all. Sometimes I go visit them all. More moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, more moles, digging holes, more. More moles! Oh. <laughs> Hi, 
Ashley. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Felix. Hi, Felix. So guess what? Guess what? 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 My friend came into class the other day, and he was wearing glasses. Felix, do you know why kids wear glasses? <gasps> no. Why? Why do they wear glasses? Well, some kids have different shaped eyeballs. Really? Yes, they're not all perfectly round, which they're supposed to be round. Oh. But some kids have shorter eyeballs. Uh-huh. And some kids have longer eyeballs. Oh, wow. But why do they need glasses? Do they do, do glasses change your eyeball? Well, not actually, Felix. Glasses change how the light comes into your eye. Oh. Cuz when you see a picture, it's actually light rays. Oh. See right here. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't okay. get it. One second. All right. Okay. So when you when light comes in your eye, it hits the perfect spot at the back of your eye for a perfect picture. But when kids have different shaped eyeballs, the light doesn't hit that perfect spot anymore. It either is too short or too long, so their picture's blurry. Oh, I see. So so with glasses, the picture isn't blurry anymore. Exactly. You have a clear, perfect picture. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you guys so much about teaching me about glasses. <laughs> You're welcome, Felix. Welcome back, everybody. And today we're joined by the Green County 4-H Woo! Rifle Club. Hey so guys, guys, what exactly is it that you do? What are shooting sports? Rifle and gun safety. Rifle and gun really safety. Cool. What exactly does that mean, rifle and gun safety? I mean, I know what a rifle is, but you learn all about, all about gun safety as well when you learn about rifles? Yeah, we have safety rules to help us be safe. Oh, okay. Cool. Very cool. That's important. Though. Yeah. Thanks. So you have certain rules that you follow so you guys know you're safe at all times. Is that yeah. right? And you recently had an open house, right, where anyone could come and learn more about that. I think we have some clips. Yeah, there it goes. Cool. Right there. So this is where you guys are based out of, right? Green County Fairgrounds. <laughs> it looks like you got a pretty good turnout. Shotgun. Wow. So what is this? Do you just go and you learn about it or are people coming in with their own guns? You, you can bring your own gun, but 4-H, they have guns that you can shoot. Okay. And we don't just learn about the guns, but we shoot also. Oh, so you're shooting Nerf guns. So there. you're shooting and you're learning about the guns. And that, that's what the open house is. You guys all go and everyone brings their own guns or you shoot guns that are there and it's basically you just have a fun time. That sounds pretty awesome to me. That does sound awesome. So are these the type of guns that we're seeing now that you guys always shoot? No. No, we don't shoot <laughs> Nerf guns. We oh, shoot... Real guns. Yeah, That's right, Luke, you do. They and don't actually, shoot Nerf guns, they shoot real guns. And actually, we're gonna take a look at that right now. Here's oh. some footage of them shooting those real guns. Whoa, cool! Wait, so which one of you were there? Were all of you there? Or you were there? Yeah, I was there. Oh, awesome! Who else was there? You were there? Yeah, cool. I was there. So, what do you do? So, this is just about shooting on targets, right? And I see a lot of your safety, you have safety goggles. Yeah, see those bright pink headphones. There. I know, I like those. Those are my favorite. And you have safety glasses. So can anybody talk a little bit about the safety and what you have to wear? Anybody want to talk about it? You got it? Yeah. You have to wear headphones or earplugs for, so, but you can't, you don't damage your eardrums. Okay, it's it. really loud, yeah. right? Okay, cool. And actually, Maddie, I got to experience that firsthand. I went out there with them, no, and Carly actually shot me how to shoot, and we're gonna take a look at that right after this. Ooh. Hey guys, it's Taylor. I'm at the Hoosier Outdoor Experience here at Fort Harrison State Park, and I'm here at Addle Addle. Now, I don't know much about it, but I know you're throwing big sticks. Looks fun, looks a little dangerous. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. So I met up with Lewis here in line. Now, Lewis, do you know what Adel Adel is? Uh, not really sure. I don't either. It's the mystery of the day. So I guess we'll just we'll wait in line. We'll get up there. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. All right. We'll do some uh, spear checking, I guess. Carrie, how's it going? Fine, thank you. Okay, so we are here at Addle Addle. Before we start, can you tell us a little bit about what this is? <laughs> Addle Addle is a uh, tool that we talk about at the Indiana State Museum, and it is used in spear throwing, and so that's why we brought it here to the Hoosier Outdoor Experience. The Addle Addle can help you throw the spear from a safer distance. The Addle Addle has a notch at the top, 
that hooks into the notch at the top of your spear. And so the two join just like that. And my atlatl, it has the ability to just have the spear lie right on top of it. So where my hand is right now, all you have to do is hold it just like that, draw back like you're throwing a softball, and then let go. You ready, Lewis? You think you can do it? Yeah, I hope so. On that first, that first throw was really good. What did you have to do to get it to go so far and throw so well? Just kind of flick it. Just flick it? Yeah. Take the, take the mic, Lewis. Carrie, thank you so much for teaching us how to be expert adult atalysts. Thank you for joining us today. Lewis, you want to go hunting? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Do you love playing I Spy? Well, Jude is going to show us how to make a fun game. First, you'll need a clear and dry plastic bottle and a bag of rice. Next, collect about 10 to 20 small, colorful objects that fit through the top of your bottle. Today, we are using buttons. Make a list as you put everything in. Next, use a funnel to add the dry rice until the bottle is almost full. And put the top on. Now, try to find everything on your list. What a fun game! Thanks, Jude! And we're back with the Green County 4-H Rifle Club. And Woo! we're also joined by Malia from Purdue Extension. Thanks so much for joining here, Malia. Thank you. So you guys have a project about safety, am I right? Yeah. yeah. All Woo! right, hit me with it. Every time you're using the firearm, you should always use strict safety rules, eye protection, and ear protection. Woo! Got that right there. there are no accidents, only negligence. That is why we follow these four safety rules. OK. Always keep your muzzle in a safe direction. Do not load until given the load command. Keep your finger off the trigger until the sights are on the target. Make sure those around you follow the safety rules. All right, way to go, guys. I know everything about it now. All I need to do is go to them, and I know all the safety rules. Mm -hmm. But there's a little bit, you need to know, a little bit more you need to know, Maddie. And now we're okay. going to talk about the parts of a rifle, right? Oh, cool. Well, we have that awesome chart. So yes, we do. So whoever's talking about that, you guys can come back here and explain out. that to me. Because I would love to know. So what do we got, guys? You go, girl. Okay. We're going to show you the parts of the rifle for safety reasons. Okay. This is the muzzle. The muzzle is the part of the rifle that the bullet exits. All right. Muzzle. I got it. <laughs> I'm job, memorizing man. as we go. <laughs> the barrel is the part of the rifle that the bullet goes through before it gets to the muzzle. The barrel contains the rifling, which is a spiral inside of the gun, which okay, the, which makes the bullet goes faster. Cool. Okay. Barrel. 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 And muzzle, muzzle. Muzzle barrel. Muzzle barrel. <laughs> You're getting it. Oh. <laughs> is it being sticky? Can you help? Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh oh. You got it. You got. Look nice. at you, tall girl. Okay. The trigger is the part of the rifle that you squeeze to make the bullet go through the barrel. Okay. Cool. I think I know that one. Trigger. I knew that one. Yeah, you know that one. I know one. That's good. <laughs> Way to go. Barrel. Muzzle. The front and. Got yeah. it. Yeah, you got it. The Perfect. rear sights are the parts of the rifle that you align to get a better sight picture. Okay. And the stock is a part of the rifle that you hold on to. Okay. Okay. Woo! Way that was go. great. I learned so much. The All safety. Right. 
is a mechanical device that keeps the hammer from falling. Okay. okay. Safety. And the bolt is on the other side of the rifle. It's a level that you pull to chamber a new round. Cool. The heel and the toe. The heel is the part when you're in prone position, you uh, put it into your shoulder pocket, and the toe is the part when you're in standing position, you put it into your shoulder pocket. Okay, so that's the part that goes right there, is that right? Yeah. All right, but other than this, we also need ammunition, right? And I think we have video of Carly showing me just exactly how to load a gun. All right, Carly, so you're showing me how to prep the rifle, is that right? Yes. We take the end of the bullet, okay. and we press down, and shove it back. Okay. And then we take this one, press it and down. Do the same thing? Yep. And you keep going. So we're loading, this is the ammo that we're putting into it? Is yes. that right? <laughs> do you want to try? Sure, I'll try. <laughs> take it, push down, and push back? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Nothing bad will happen? No. Okay, so now what do we do with this? We're, whenever the line boss says that we can go on the line, we're going to put it in the rifle. All right. Awesome. Let's go do that. I suggest you don't tell him that. So that was pretty cool. Now we know about safety for guns and the ammo and how to load it. Right. Next thing we need to learn is how to get into position. You guys have well, that for us. Well, how convenient. Right there. All right. Carly has the sling on, and that provides support. Okay. You always want to have an open platform hand and your sling snug, but not too tight. Okay. Her elbow is always underneath the rifle, so you're not wobbling everywhere. I would And be. her support side leg is aligned with her spine, and her trigger knee is up so she can breathe better. It gives you more room to breathe. Oh, interesting. And her trigger elbow is relaxed, she always has a firm handshake grip and a C-shaped trigger finger. Always have turkey neck and cheek weld. Turkey. And these turkey are the neck. steps to prone position. Wow. That was awesome. That is awesome. And you know what, Maddie? I what? actually got a chance to learn all of this and go out with these guys and shoot for myself. What? And we can take a look at that right they now. They let you shoot a gun? Yes, they That's did. All right, Carly, I'm ready. Tell okay. me what I have to do. You have to lay the gun down first. And okay. Safe. So you get down and you bring the gun up to you. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter which way you have that. Okay. Like that? Okay. After you bring the gun up, mm -hmm. you have to push this up so that way it'll go around your arm. Okay, going around my left arm? Uh, whatever arm you shoot with. My right arm if I'm going like this, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But since this is going to be tight for you first. What is this doing for me? This is holding the gun, it keeps it steadier and it makes it okay. easier and it's not as wobble. Okay. 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 And then you bring so this. Good? Yeah. Five rounds, load! Whenever he says load, okay. you take this out. Then you bring this hand and put it in like that. Okay. So the hole Where in the bottom. Yeah, right there? Yes. Okay. Fire! Whenever he says fire, you can take the gun off of safe. Okay. Which is this little doohickey right there. That, little, that, that makes it so it can't fire at all? Yeah. Okay, and that's the safety, is that what you say? Mm-hmm. Okay. You should look into this. Okay. In the third one, yeah. over. Make sure that none of your things are behind the... I did one. <laughs> yeah. Then you open it. Okay. Pull. Oh, and then it pops out. Yeah. Okay. And then you pull it back. And we repeat the process, right? Yes. Back, down. Mm-hmm. Here you go, slowly right, no. <laughs> I think that one was pretty bad, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. And it was also a lot of fun to have you guys here. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> and, uh, a Malia, guys. if kids at home want to learn more about shooting or want to get involved with their own 4-H club, mm -hmm. how can they do that? Well, there are programs across the state in every county, and you can go to the Indiana 4-H website, and they've got the address on the screen, and that will tell you how to find your county and find the program in your area. All right, awesome. awesome. Thanks, so much. Thanks for coming, guys. You guys are so awesome, and I learned so much about rifle shooting today. Sure did. Yeah. In the Friday
Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are going to make pita chips. <gasps> Zap snack pita chips what? just for you. Just for me? What, what are they, Heather? Well, have you ever gone to the store and seen the pita chips that you could buy in the bag? And they're really expensive, and sometimes the flavors aren't what you would really like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I decided to learn how to make my own because I really like them, and I like oh, to make my own. Heather is smart. Thank yeah, you, Felix. Yeah, yeah. And I'm using pitas, and what I did is I just opened them up. <gasps> oh, and you can that. cut them in half uh -huh. and make a pocket and open them. Oh. Or you could just really carefully with kitchen shears or a knife mm -hmm. cut along the outside and open it up to show this coarse inner part of the pita yeah. bread. Is, Easy. Is that where you put all the good stuff? That is where you put all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I went ahead and did with both of these. Okay. I went ahead and cut them and opened them up. And next, the next thing I do is I get a little bit of olive oil, oh. which has a really good flavor okay. and helps our seasoning stick to the pita. It's oh. kind of like the glue. Yeah. Oh, pizza glue. Pizza yeah. glue. Who would have thought we'd be saying pizza glue? Yeah. I hope we don't use real glue. No, I promise we won't. This is no. much, much better. I ate that once. Oh. Not good. Never again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I use my brush, and I'm just going to brush a little bit on. We don't need very much at all. Okay. Just a little bit. So I'm just going to lightly brush it on both sides. You're like an artist, Heather. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. You're too nice. Ah, well, you got the paintbrush and everything. <laughs> Kitchen artistry. There yeah. you go. And see, you're doing this too. Yeah. So I'm going to brush both sides. Really okay. easy. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. Why, why do you do that? Well, that way it doesn't stick to the pan. Oh. And also because both sides get crunchy. Ooh. And don't you like for both sides of your chip to taste good instead yeah. of just the top part? Yeah. 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 So we're going to finish that. And then we're going to sprinkle on some seasoning. I really like when I make pita chips to make them taste a little zesty. Ooh, give it some zap. Some zap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder on here. Just okay. a little. Just sprinkle just to give it some flavor. Yeah. Zap. And Pow. this is just garlic dried and then ground to a fine powder. Okay. And now I'm going to use dried basil. Oh. You want to give it a smell? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It's That's one strong. Of, it's one of my favorite yeah. herbs. I love it. And it's green. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I love green, my favorite color. Yeah, yeah. And you just sprinkle however much you want. I don't think you want too much, but just enough. Okay, yeah. And you do that to both. Hey, Felix, can you notice the fresh basil there on the table? Oh, <gasps> Edda, look at that. I know, we could have fresh. even used that. I decided to use dry, but you also yeah. could use fresh basil that's oh, just been chopped, yeah. sprinkled on the top. Oh. Yeah. It's so green. It is, and it yeah. smells so good. Yeah. Now I'm going to use some grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. You could shred your own, or you could use a fine grater to grate this from a block of oh. Parmesan. Okay. And again, like anything, you could use Asiago. You could use any yeah. cheese that you have that you really like. Okay. This is easy. Yeah. There's lots of steps in this, huh, Head? Yes, but it's simple and yeah. easy to do. Okay. And everyone likes these. Yeah. And you know what's fun? Huh. You can make these a different way. Instead of olive oil, you could use melted butter. Ooh. Instead of dried basil and Parmesan, you could use cinnamon and sugar. Same I thing. I bet that tastes really good. It does yeah. taste really good. Yeah. And now all I'm going to do is cut these into triangles. So I cut it in half. Okay. And then I cut it in half again. Oh, yeah. Cut it into fourths. Okay. That's it. Wow, you're using math, too. I am. Wow. Math yeah. and science in the kitchen. Yeah. And art. Yeah. And yeah. art. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah. we just put this on the cookie sheet. Uh-huh. So, so now we're going to bake them? We're going to bake them. Okay. How, how long does that take? I would, take, I would keep an eye on them because uh -huh. you don't want them to get too hard, but you want them to be crispy like a chip. Yeah. So I would say between 8 and 10 minutes. Oh, that's long. Yeah. Yeah. Just enough time to get started on some homework or oh, make your bed or do some yeah, things around the house. Yeah. And then by the time you get done, That's nice. they'll yeah. be ready. Yeah. Do you have lots of homework, Heather? Oh, not so much anymore, but I uh, used to, and yeah. I always did it after school. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you could do that with some of these delicious snacks you make. Yeah, you could, yeah. yes. Yeah. Brain food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's all there is to it. Oh. 
I'm going to put them in the toaster oven, and okay. they'll be ready in a jiffy. <gasps> a jiffy. <laughs> Zap, snack, pita chips. You're right. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, Heather. I know. It smells so good. Okay. You're going to have to wait. Oh, they smell delicious. You're going to love oh, them. Oh, I can smell them now. Oh. Oh. Now be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're very hot. Oh, those look so good. And they smell so good, and they're crunchy, mm -hmm. and they're good with just about anything that you like. They would be really good with hummus. Oh, yeah. Or, we made that before. Yeah, yeah, or creamy vegetable dip, something like that. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Hey, Heather, Heather. Uh-huh. Super simple. Super <laughs> simple. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, everyone. Here's that recipe again. You can write it down oh, or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's super simple. Hi, it's me, Bub. I love to chase ants and frogs. Well, it's joke time with Davy. Joke time with Jack. Joke time with Davy and Jack. Joke. I mean Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Dad, what do you get when you cross Bambi with a ghost? Bambi with the ghost? I don't know what. Bamboo! Get it, Bamboo? Well, thanks so much, guys, and thank Woo. you for joining us here in the Friday Zone. If you've got an idea for the show, visit our website at FridayZone.org. You can also watch videos, play games, and see behind-the-scenes photos. Remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. We'll see you here next week. Okay. Hey, Megan and Hannah, why don't you guys teach Maddie about that firing position? Yeah, I want to hear Maddie, about Maddie, you probably it. want to get down on the ground learning the firing oh. position now. All right, well. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. WFYI Indianapolis and these Indiana Public Television Stations. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members, thank you. <laughs>